If you own both a Pomeranian and a cat, the size of these animals is good because both will be of a similar size and one major benefit is that your two pets, although different, will usually become good friends. An average cat weighs approximately 8 to 10 pounds. If you want a canine and a feline living under your roof, there are certain guidelines to remember. Watch this video until the end to learn if your Pomeranian can live in the same household with a cat. Pomeranian Dog Guidelines If your dog constantly barks at cats or demonstrates a strong intolerance for them, then it wouldn't be wise to actually bring a cat home. However, if your Pomeranian either demonstrates indifference or is curious about this different creature, they're positive signs. The next element is how much confidence you have that you can use commands to control your dog and he'll obey. If there are times where he's tense or perhaps you must step in and make him obey, the typical commands include, heal, come, stay, down and sit will be powerful tools in your arsenal. It's vital that you spend a lot of time training him to respond to your commands but generally you will reach that point. The last task is to ask a neighbor, who is a cat owner, if you can take your dog to visit him. This will test whether he has had sufficient training to obey you, despite having a cat in the same room as a distraction. Introducing your Pomeranian and cat. If you have done the things discussed in this video so far, you should expect the first meeting to go well. However, it is impossible to predict the outcome of the meeting, so you should adhere to certain precautions. Neither animal should be without its owner, this will ensure supervision, and the owners can take any required direct action. Depending on the initial interaction, the owners might need to be present for the first few times. Once you are sure that there will be no more problems, you can leave the two animals unsupervised. A gradual introduction is best. So, before they have their first face-to-face -face interaction, here are a few things that you can do to make either animal aware of the other's presence. The homeowner needs to select a specific room where the dog will stay until it is time for the introduction. Even though you are confining the dog, he should not think that it is a punishment. Ideally, a family member should stay with the dog to keep him occupied or even give him an occasional treat or some new toys to occupy and distract himself with. As soon as that is done, it's time to bring the cat inside and show him around the house. Be sure to make him visit your dog's sleeping and playing area, as these are the areas where the dog's scent will be the most intense. Once the tour is complete, let your dog out and allow him to take in the scents that the cat has just left behind. After this step, bring the cat and the Pomeranian close together for a brief meeting. Do not forget to keep the dog on a leash. Give the cat the opportunity to go back if required. Remember that cats hate getting cornered, and if it gets scared of the dog, the cat will need to climb or jump to a secure spot. Of course, the ideal outcome is that the two animals get along perfectly well from the first day. However, this is often too good to be true. So, if they express interest, that is good, but even if they are indifferent, that is more than a decent result. If either animal can pretend that the other is simply non-existent, take it as a positive sign because it shows that neither of the two animals feels scared or threatened in the other's presence. Unfortunately, once the two animals realize that they will have to live with each other in the same house and not just for a short while, this indifferent attitude might cease to exist. How to Befriend Canines and Felines It will take approximately three weeks to determine how your Pomeranian and cat are getting along with each other. If you want to speed up the process of friendship between the two, here are a few things that you can do. Avoid forcing the pets to become friends. They will do things their way and require you to give them the independence that they need. Forcing them to remain in the same room to catalyze friendship is just going to make them come at each other's throats. Dedicate a separate place for either pet. Even if they do become friends and start to enjoy spending time together, there will be times when they will need their own space and solitude. Cats and dogs have very different food requirements and preferences. For instance, cat foods contain a higher percentage of protein and more salts in comparison to dog meals. So, make sure that your dog does not eat your cat's food, and vice versa. Doing this every once in a while might not hurt much, but if it happens on a regular basis, your pets might end up with health problems like diarrhea or upset stomachs. Also, cats love catnip because of the stimulating effects. However, if your dog ends up eating catnip, it will lead to sedation, water loss, stomach aches, and diarrhea. Keep a different eating time for the pets. If you make them eat together, both of them might fear the other pet coming for their food, and you do not want to instigate this stressful event. As far as sleeping arrangements go, Make sure that your cat has a separate bed out of reach of the dog, 
at least until you have ascertained that the two can get along together. Observe your cat and dog's relationship for a week, if there are positive signs, give one shot at feeding them together. Eating together will help them create a connection and understand that both are members of a single home or pack. If your dog is behaving well around your cat, praise or treat him. This will help your dog learn that this behavior is appreciated and should therefore be replicated. Communication between cats and dogs. Puppies and kittens learn how to act from their moms and litter after they are born. Mother dogs educate their pups on what conduct is appropriate and what is not during this period. Bite inhibition is also taught to Pomeranian puppies, which is crucial in their interactions with other puppies. The kitten's mother instructs them on hunting, toileting, and social relations. The Pomeranian pup and kitten will act differently after being separated from their original homes. That's reasonable, and there are ways to make canine-feline communication more pleasant. They will eventually quit being perplexed by the variations in the body language and overall conduct. Your Pomeranian puppy or cat may be highly talkative while interacting with you. That's how they pique your interest. You should then watch their conduct on a regular basis in order to decipher it.